The frightening moments that made Orange residents see red. What an idiot! Oh. Oh. A car races down the wrong side of a main road as other drivers swerve to get out of its way. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Mobile phone footage captures the car doing donuts and what appears to be an attempt to smash into a police car. I didn't know what was going on. It was pretty crazy. Officers doing what they can to try and stop the reckless rampage. One is even seen drawing a weapon. Who raised his gun? That like his hair. While thankfully the driver didn't hit any passers-by, it's alleged police were his target. They went around the roundabout a few times and the Ford was uh, putting on his handbrake trying to get the police car to smash into him. And, uh, the highway patrol did pretty well not to smack into him. Police were eventually able to stop the car and arrested 58-year-old John Parsi. He's been charged with a number of offences, including intimidating police, driving dangerously and resist arrest. The attack at Orange is just another attack on police officers and really does highlight the dangers that our police face out in those communities. Police once again the victims of violence last night, this time in Potts Point. Officers were called to the King's Hotel when they spoke with a 24-year-old man. He allegedly turned violent. It's alleged as police tried to arrest the man, he kicked a leading senior constable, damaging his teeth, punched another officer in the face and bit two others. Police are there to keep the community safe. We really need the community to support the police and any attack on police is just, it is really disgusting. Elise Baker, Nine News.